Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I am super thrilled to be here with you today to share something that is kind of new to me and that is self tanners. Yes, I have always used, you know, in the summer I would use a little bit of that Jurgen self tanner, but it is very subtle and you have to keep applying it every night. I had never really investigated using real full out self tanners and I didn't think in the past that I looked that great with a self tanner. I don't know. I kind of looked blue, I guess, my skin, non-tanned, and I thought that was an okay look and I wasn't sure I really liked that Malibu dark look. However, I have to say, SkinStore.com partnered with me and offered to send me a few self tanners. They allowed me to choose which ones I wanted them to send to me and I am thrilled to death to find out that I really do like self tanners. And as you watch this video, you're going to see me apply one of them. I'll show you the results of one of them. I applied one last night and I really, really, really like it. And I think it really looks good. And I'll tell you about that one. But then I will show you step by step how I started as a pale fish on the second self tanner set and how I ended up looking at the end of the video. And I have really become convinced that in the summer, it really does help to have that golden tan kind of sun kissed look, especially for us blondes. It even seems to make my hair look blonder, which makes me happy because my hair lady will not tend to get my hair as blonde as I like it. But something about having a tan just makes all of your colors just kind of pop. And I am really liking it. And I just realized I forgot to wear a ring. So here I am a little more on naturel. But I guess that's okay because this is a self tanner video. And if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things that make us look better and feel better in our second half, then I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and or give this video a thumbs up and or share it with a friend. Okay, let me get into this video. And again, I'd like to thank SkinStore.com. This is not a sponsored video because they did not pay me anything and all the opinions are my own, but they did allow me to choose the products that I wanted to try. And whenever I do that, I want to make sure that I bring you the absolute best products. And quite honestly, I want the best products for myself. So I looked through all of their self tanners and I will say, here's a look at SkinStore.com's self tanner area. That's the beginning of their page and they have a ton of self tanners and they have the very highest end self tanners. Usually at other websites, they do not go on sale. These are the self tanners that everyone wants and they pay an arm and a leg for. But as you can see by looking at their website again, right now they have a 30% off sale on all of their self tanners, including their highest end ones. And so I think that is a wonderful reason to make SkinStore.com your one-stop shop for anything skincare related, especially if you like higher end skincare items as I do. And I have to say, I used to love the Jurgen self tanner and you know, I still do. I think it's a good product, but there's really nothing to compare with the higher end self tanners that I used from skin store. And again, I'll put the link below to these products. And hopefully if you get there soon, you can catch that good sale that's on, on them. Okay. Let me show you the products that I ordered. And again, I ordered these products after doing research all across the web, not just on skinstore.com. I did research everywhere to find the highest rated products. And the first product I will show you is this one. And this is the Saint Tropez or Saint Tropez. I'm not sure what, you know, how to pronounce that word. But anyway, this is their advanced one hour tan bronzing mist. And I really like this product. And this is the one that I'm going to show you in just a few minutes. Every step of the application from blue white fish to Malibu Barbie. I call it Malibu aging Barbie. But anyway, that was negative. I don't mean to be negative. But anyway, I'll show you this one in just a few minutes. And I thought after I used this, that this was my favorite. But I had also ordered this little kit. And it is also the Saint, you know, Tropez, whatever it is, the same brand. And again, it's a super highly rated high end tanner. And this is what they call the self tan classic kit or the iconic tan. And I have to say, I used this one last night and I really loved it. And here is a look at their skincare color chart. And as you can see in the before and afters, they show you this classic tan on a light skinned person, medium and dark skinned and look how natural the results look in the after. And I would tend to think that those were airbrush results, but then after having used it, I think it looks super, super natural. And this kit produced absolutely no streaking, all of the color all over my body just looks beautiful. I wish I could show you the rest of my body, 
but right now I don't have a swimsuit on. You'll see that in a few minutes in all of my glory, I guess. It's kind of weird to be in a swimsuit on TV, not something that is too much fun. But anyway, I used this last night and it is a super easy kit to use. Basically, you take the self tanner and it says natural looking tan, classic self tan, and then you just spray it out. Oh gosh, I guess I'll spray it out for you. But I did wash this last night because this mitt is fabulous and it does come in the kit. But here we go. Let me show you what it looks like. And it is really nice. Okay, there it is. I'll just do a little bit. I don't want to waste it. But it looks very, very dark brown there and it's just a little brown foam. And then you rub it all over the areas that you want tanned. And I put it all over my body and I even put it on my face which I'm a little leery to do, but I think the tan was just beautiful. And this one is super easy because while the other one I'm going to show you, you have to wait one, two or three hours and make a decision and then take a shower. This one you just put on and four hours later you have a tan. And what I did last night was I just put this on and then maybe waited about 10 minutes before I got between the sheets. And then I slept all night and I woke up and went in and looked in the mirror. And this was the result just a super, super natural looking, very gorgeous looking tan. Everyone would think that I spent a day or two out on the beach to get this tan, but really it was a fake bake or tan in a can. And I can't recommend this product highly enough if you want a super natural looking tan and also if you want the entire kit. And this little mitt is just the softest, most wonderful feeling thing and I would definitely keep it clean between uses because I'm going to hang on to this. And in fact, I ordered this kit along with this separate tan in a can because I really wanted this mitt that was in the kit. And you can order the mitt separately on skinstore.com if you want to. So anyway, that was a look at this classic tan in a kit. There it is. And I absolutely love the results. Now, let me tell you about applying this other product. And this is again the Bronzing Mist Advanced One Hour Tan. And I like this one. I mean, I really like this one until I use the other one. Quite honestly, I think I prefer the Classic Tan Kit because it comes with the mitt and it's very easy. But this one produced a beautiful tan too. And this one's a little more intricate if you want to control your depth of tan and kind of decide where you want to stop in the deal, then I would recommend this one. And so let me go ahead and show you the application of this one. I applied it last Saturday and with any self tanner, it is very important to exfoliate your skin well because you really do want that beautiful look of even toned skin. And if you don't exfoliate your skin, it could be streaky and you know kind of browner in places than others. So I would really recommend that you exfoliate your skin. I exfoliated my skin for a couple of days in the shower and I'll show you how this one applied. I should have uh, been prepared before the video. This was in the shower, but actually for the last two days, I've used this cotton candy scrub from Tree Hut and oh, it smells so good. It smells like cotton candy, but not a whole huge amount of scent to where it would interfere with your cologne, but it just has a nice sweet kind of a sugary smell. And I use that all over my body as an exfoliator. Okay, now, so let's go ahead and apply this self tanner. And again, I'm going to use this tanning glove, this tanning mitt out of the kit. And people online were saying that they really liked using the tanning glove with the self tanner or using just rubber gloves. But they said it's much better than using your hands. So here we go. I'll go ahead and shake this up. And they did say that it does go on a little bit green or a little bit olive. And the olive is supposed to kind of get rid of that orange look that we all used to get with self tanners. So don't be alarmed if it looks a little bit green. So here we go. And this mitt just feels really soft and velvety. It's nice. And I think I'm going to use it on my face, but I will definitely stop that after the one hour because I don't really necessarily like the look of a tan on my face, but we'll go ahead and see how that looks. Okay, here we go. Whoa, kind of goes on like that. And I did apply moisturizer to my elbows and knees and between my fingers and that kind of thing. Oh good, it does go on brown. That's a pretty color though. I like that color. I'm going to kind of avoid my elbow a little bit. I don't have great elbows. <laughs> I look like, a, like an elephant, like a small elephant. Oh my, that's really kind of a pretty color right there. Go ahead and get a little more of this. I'm going to go across the decollete area. 
And I'll do the neck. I'll go ahead and do the neck. I'll go back in the back. Definitely put your hair up in a bun when you do this. Actually, I like the brown look I'm getting already just from the self-tanner look. I think it looks nice. Let's do the other arm. There we go. And it just feels nice and feels kind of just like a moisturizer. Again, I'm going to avoid my elbows a little bit. Get the backs of the arms. And they said apply it in long strokes. Thank you, Allie, for doing this. I appreciate it. Let's go back over the decollete area. Get the shoulders. Get a little bit here. Whoa, <laughs> get a little too much cleavage there. Not that I have a whole lot. Okay, that's how it looks on the inside of the arms. Do this other side again, just to make sure I've gotten the inside of the arms nicely. Now I know this process is a little bit boring, so I'll go ahead and just apply some to the rest of my body, and I'll do a lot of it off camera. Okay, I went ahead and did the rest of my body. Alan did the back of me. Yay, Alan, thank you very much. Now I'm going to do my face, and this makes me a little bit nervous because, again, I don't love a really tan face look at all. I'm really kind of a pale person. So we'll go ahead and try this, and we'll see how it works. And I will get rid of this after an hour because I don't want, like, super, super dark face. So there we go. And I think I'll get a mirror here. Oh, my. That looks dark. That looks dark. Do under the neck. Actually, it's kind of pretty that one away. And again, thank you Skin Store for providing this for me. And I should have a discount code below the video so you could get this on sale. And that's the wonderful thing about Skin Store is they have all these high-end products that generally do not go on sale anywhere else, but they will, will give you discount codes and also they have great sales. Let me make sure I put this on evenly. I'm a little bit nervous. I'll do it on the, on the eyebrows too, eyelids. So there we go. That is the face. And if you wanna back up, Alan, they can see the whole body. And this is how it looks just after it's applied. There I am. And it does have a little bit of a tanner look, which I really do like that. And you just keep this on and wait an hour, and then you can shower off at that point, or wait two hours or three hours, and the tan apparently lasts for five to seven days. I'll check back with you in an hour. This is me at 10 o'clock. This is 11 o'clock. I've had the self-tanner on for two hours. Now this is new. Okay, it's five o'clock in the evening, and again, I use the Saint Tropez, and it is Saint Tropez, not Saint Tropez. I was being pretty cans in there, I guess, but this is the Saint Tropez Bronzing Mist, and this is basically, again, you apply it and wait one hour, two, or three hours because it gets a little darker between times, and then you shower off at that point, and I did shower off at the three hour point. However, apparently, according to the reviews and according to the directions, it continues to get browner, more bronzy looking over the next four to six hours. So I'm probably at my maximum bronziness, which is not bad. I think it's a very normal looking tan. It's not super Malibu. I'm not Malibu old Barbie here. It's kind of a nice natural looking finish. And I have read in the reviews that if this is not quite dark enough for you, you can do it again the next night, like tonight, I guess I would do it again and probably sleep in it. That's how I would do it and that would give you a darker tan still in the morning. And I think it gave a really nice, even looking tan. It just looks extremely natural, I'm so happy. There it is. Now there's only one area on my whole body where I got a little bit of a streaky look right here. It broke apart there. But what I think you would do is you would just use a scruffly washcloth that's kind of scruffly, a little rough textured, you would get that off and maybe reapply and then sleep in it and you'd probably be just fine. 
But I thought that was wonderful that over my whole body, and I'll let Alan show you my whole body, there really weren't any streaks anywhere. It really looks like a totally natural tan. I am super impressed with this. And I will tell you that in terms of scent, there's really, you know, there's, well, I was gonna say there's really no scent. I guess it's not an offensive scent. It smells a little bit like self-tanner, but not the way it used to at all. So anyway, that is a look at my St. Tropez Instant Tan, and I think it is absolutely a wonderful product. And again, I'll have all the information linked for you below. And if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in everything that helps us look and feel our best in our second half, including great self-tanners, then I hope you'll subscribe and or click that little bell and or share this video with a friend. Well, normally I do a little thought for the day, but I don't have my cards, so I'll just leave it as this is a great self-tanner and let me know if you have good self-tanners you could recommend in the comment section below the video, or if you have questions, I'll be there to answer them. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.